I don't care how many hours you work a day. If you don't have a college education, you shouldn't be getting more than $8 an hour. Makes no sense. Okay, that's BS because I don't have a college education and I do make more than $8 an hour. Yes, he actually makes uh, 16 twice that. And furthermore, there are students in this country who are in school and they have they do not necessarily have the skills to be able to get a job that pays necessarily, uh, you know, 10, 12, 15 or $20 an hour yet. Or even if they do, they can't take that position due to it compromising their school schedule and they're focused on finishing school. So for you to say, oh, well, uh, you can't uh, make this amount of money because you don't have the proper education when there are people out there, literally, this is their means to support themselves and their education. It's like self-defeating. It's like you basically, it's a lose-lose situation. So, And aside from that, just so we're clearing everything in the air, $8 an hour, could you live off of that? You see... It doesn't matter what I can do with $8 an hour because since I have a college education and I am a doctor, I already get $26 an hour. I show you, I am a perfect example of somebody that works and gets what he deserves. I went to college, I got my doctor. I got my doctor, I get 26 an hour. It makes perfect sense. Well, now, you if you haven't gone to college and it's really fortunate that Juan, you have been able to acquire a job that pays more than $8 an hour. However, mm -hmm. you are the minority. Everybody won't be like that. And it shouldn't be agree. that way, because if you do that, then it'll devalue college. Everybody should be going to college. We should be pushing to make all of our students and kids go to college. If they don't go to college, who's going to be the future leaders of our countries, of our nations, of our cities? But at the same time, there are plenty of educated people who do absolutely nothing for this country in terms of making, or the world by extent, uh, with their college education, just like there are people who only have high school degrees, who only... Um, you know, who with their amazing and their role models and this, that, or whatever. Uh, case of point, a lot of entertainers who actually do give back to the community and they are, for, you know, empowering women, human rights, this, that, or whatever. They, a lot of them only had a high school uh, diploma, uh, you know, a high school diploma or went back to get their GED, this, that, or whatever. So a college education is, you know, it will make life easier depending on what career path you choose, but it's not like a necessity for success. And also, not to be petty, but if you're a doctor and you make $26 an hour, I really think you should reevaluate your life. You should be more on the salary-based income, making at least six figures. Still, I would argue that, granted, you have a college degree. I don't. I'm in the minority of that mm. aspect of getting a lucky, luckily good job. Arlander has a college degree. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, Arlander's <laughs> almost got a college degree. Yes. He's got plenty of skills. Mm -hmm. And he still doesn't have a job. A good job. Well, he doesn't have a good job because even though he has the skills, because he doesn't have the degree, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the references. If you have the degree, it gives you the credentials that says, These are the skills I have. If I walk up to Home Depot and I tell them I am an amazing paint mixer, but I don't have a college degree or like Oh, I can show you these classes that I went to that show that I'm an amazing paint mister. What did it have to go off of? Other well, than my testimony. Unfortunately, my testimony. you chose the worst possible uh, people to go with because I've worked at a Home Depot and they train you. They don't care. <laughs> now, granted, your example, taking it as it is, has a point. Okay? You are trying to say that you need to have something to validate that you're capable of doing this. Now, the issue is, how do you get that value? Because in a lot of ways, plenty of people try and get that value and say like, yeah, I'm good at doing this, but nobody has the, nobody cares enough to be like, hey, you know what, I'll take it up on this one. Because there's plenty of people with degrees that don't have a job. You know, mm -hmm. there are plenty of people that don't have jobs, that have degrees. But that's because a lot of the people that are getting degrees now are getting in things that <clears throat> the community does not need a lot of. Uh, the community doesn't need a lot of artists. It doesn't need a lot of film and entertainers. OK, we need more doctors. We need more construction workers. We don't need any more people trying to be the next Will Smith. We don't need people trying to be the next Ariana Grande. We have enough of them. If I was getting eight dollars an hour because the market of whatever i'm working in is super saturated then 
I would have to put all the things I would want to do in the back burner, and then I'd have to take out a loan and go back to school and get the job that will pay the bills. The $8 an hour won't cut it. However, it also depends on your lifestyle. Now, if I live in California, then that's something I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go back to school and get that higher paying job because $8 now won't work for me there. Well, let's not go with California. Let's go just in general. Okay? If I told you I'm going to hire you and you have a degree in whatever, you can only make $8 an hour, are you going to be able to live off of that? You said no. You saying that means that the minimum wage doesn't work. Okay? And you said it yourself. You would have to end up taking out loans. You would have to go back to school to get a different degree to end up getting a different job. All of which takes time and money. Which, you said it yourself, with $8 an hour, you don't have. See, it's easy to go about fixing the minimum wage. For starters, we have to just go back to a time in which the dollar wasn't as devalued as it is nowadays. You see, way back when, $8 an hour, and this is where it all stems from it being a good idea, $8 an hour could go and get you bread, milk, eggs for a week, meat for a week. It can get you, it can get the whole shebang, but then as everything else went up, and then all of everything else went up, but the dollar stayed the same. So they made more more of the money. And since more people had the money, then it was devalued. So everybody else raised their prices because everybody got the money. So the problem will actually never fix itself. That's one of the main reasons why I say it's fine, because it it will never change. And that's the sad reality. When you consider how we been living in our country and who runs the country, if we do raise the minimum wage, then that gallon of milk that you need at home is probably going to go up to, I don't know, like six fifty, And then the, it'll just keep going and going. So if you want to fix the issue, you have to go to the very top. But how are you going to get to the very top? Who can get up there?